Hi, this is Mike, and I'm going to demonstrate the use of the Starry Landscape uh, Stacker. And uh, remember, again, this is only for use on Mac computers. Um, there are others available for PCs, but the Starry Landscape uh, Stacker is only available on the Mac. First thing you have to do is convert your images. Well, let me back up. The first thing you have to do is photograph a group of images, one right after the other, in the same situation. These images, um, and let's see, there's about um, 16 of them, were taken about 15 uh, minutes apart. So there are 20 second exposures, uh, 3200 ISO, um, or 6400 ISO, yeah. So. These images were all taken together. There's 16 of them. They're shot at 6400 ISO at f2.8 for um, 20 seconds. So what I'm going to do first is I have to convert these to some type of a, uh, a file format that um, the Starry Landscape Stacker will accept. Um, the best one is a TIFF file, so I'm just going to select them and then I export them out. Um, I'll just designate uh, okay there's that I'm going to change this to a TIFF file um, no compression Profoto RGB works best 16 bits I don't want to resize and um, that looks like I'm good so I'm going to export these guys out and then I'm going to open up the software and um, we'll uh, bring it up in that. Okay, so I've exported out my images out of Lightroom and um, the, then I've opened up my Starry Landscape Stacker here. So um, what it's going to do is ask me for my images. And uh, I'm just going to use the images that I ex just exported. Um, I'm going to select them all holding down the shift button and I click open. Uh, it takes just a moment to um, read them through. Also, don't erase your EXIF or any of your metadata or anything like that because the, um, the software is looking at that EXIF data to compare images to help find out where everything should line up. Okay, so we've imported 16 images and here's what it looks like. Um, uh, you've got this screen with all these dots. Um, and here's what I'm going to do. I, the dots represent stars, and, and granted, right now everything looks streaked like it might if I combine them all in Photoshop using Light, and then I'll show you how to do that as well. What we want to do right now is add any areas where stars might have been missed. And this is just as easy as going in and clicking a dot, making it red, right, right like that. And I'm just kind of going in and clicking the streaks. And um, I don't want any streaks to be missed. So we're just going to go in and make sure that, that I've got all good streaks because if I don't click them, they're going to be lost. And for uh, the good of the order, that's, uh, that's the way that's done. The next step now is to click Find a Sky. It wants to know where the sky is so that it's not making any adjustments on the um, foreground. Now this did a really good job of um, finding the sky. Obviously if you look in here I've got some, uh, some areas in the trees that if I were in Photoshop I'd probably mask those out. But this uh, mask is not quite that advanced yet. So I'm, I'm just going to leave it be because uh, I don't have any really big detail in there. The next thing I'm going to do is just click Align and Composite. I don't need to make any adjustments. I'm good with how the sky is. I'm good with everything. So I'm just going to click Align and Composite and let's watch the magic. So what it's doing is it's moving, you know, everything moves across the sky as uh, you're taking these images, even if it's over 15 minutes. And they're, it's lining them up and it's adjusting them so that one star is stacked right on top of the other. And once this is done, we're going to get a much brighter image. We'll end up comparing it with the original, and you guys can be the judge. 
Um, here it is. This is ISO 6400. And man, I tell you what, this is just incredible. Um, I prefer to use the um, algorithm called Minimum Horizon Noise. And now all I have to do is click Save. And um, we've got our image. So I'm going to click Save and uh, I'll show it to you when we're done. Okay, so I'm back in Lightroom and I've... Um, uh, I have synchronized my folders, and if you don't know how to synchronize folders and bring in extra images in, uh, it's a real easy process. Uh, I can show it to you at some point. But here is the image that we brought in, and um, let me just grab, um, I'll make that one my reference image, and let me grab one of the initial um, images, and look at the difference here. Um, it's, it's just amazing the amount of detail that we're getting in these images. Um, the one on the left is the stacked image. The one on the right is a single image. And um, look at it. It's just, just incredible. Um, so that should show you how well um, your, uh, your images will work when you stack them. And again, it's a process. I know many of you are new to... Um, stacking images and new to astrophotography um, so baby steps I'll work with you uh, uh, on this in the uh, workshop and uh, we'll take it from there all right thank you bye-bye